Welcome back, everybody. I am the Jimmer. This is King of the Hill. We are on episode 24. We have the pocket rocket by a nickel, and that's going to be taken on the G Bass prototype MK64 by Zepgaff. Actually, I think that thing likes to be spawned in the air. One of the earlier submissions. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Just get that popped up in the air a little bit so it doesn't get bogged down in the water. And as I've said before, if you're working on something right now, um, please put it on a spawn stick just like this. That way I can spawn it in. Just I'm going to face it, spawn it in facing at sea level with the spawn stick. And then you can use your spawn stick to put your entry exactly where you want it. And uh, that, that makes sure everything goes off. Um, at least in the beginning how you want it to but let's go ahead and get this unpaused and get the battle underway there we go both entries taking a little bit to warm up and now starting to move you see the pocket rocket stripping blocks off with that laser already G bass oh man G bass is really getting picked apart here looks like it's having trouble getting airborne yeah that's really taking a lot of damage all the way down to 93% pocket rocket 100% yeah, it looks like the lambs just taking out everything it's like a few misses and the lambs got the rest Wow, doesn't look like the pocket rocket has even been hit. Yeah, G-Bass just getting stripped apart here. Looks like unable to turn using some uh, yaw thrusters. Huge explosion rocking the vehicle down to 83%. We're seeing the missiles fire, but uh, just not able to get through the lands. Got the uh, target prediction guidance bringing them out in front, but yeah. Anyone that gets close, the lambs just eats right up. Another huge explosion on the G Bass. Forgot to mention, this is an elimination battle. Both these entries, two wins, one loss. So the winner moves one step closer to victory and the loser goes home. Not looking good for the G-Bass. It's almost certainly lost this round. And uh, hopefully the second round goes a little bit better for it. Has the gun, but doesn't look like it has any ammo. It looks like the gun is trying, just no ammo. Yeah, the laser damage from the pocket rocket is just vicious. And there it is, AI dead. Alright, let's get this reset and get round number two underway. Possibly a, a laser gantry. Main cannon online and firing, but having trouble getting through the lands. Yeah, that laser's cutting through now. It's getting into the internals. Yeah, you can see just cottage cheese. Or cottage cheese. Swiss cheese. I guess you could argue that's cottage cheese falling off. <laughs> G 
she bass dipping down in the water. That's yeah, still firing, but I don't think I don't think the pocket rocket has taken a single shot this entire battle. We hear a couple of fragments from those missiles bouncing off of the hull, but I haven't seen its health dip at all. I haven't even seen it lose a block. It doesn't even look like any of its blocks are darkened. Oh wait, I think I see one right there, that corner, that corner took a little bit of damage. But other than that, just absolutely dominant. Oh, come on, there you go. ammo store actually I think is what that is. If I remember correctly there was ammo in the wings. G Bass does have one remaining gun firing away but yeah, the lambs nope not getting anywhere near it. now. Doesn't look like the G-Bass has any weapons left. Getting absolutely devoured. And there it is. Alright, congratulations to a nickel. Pocket Rocket now just one victory away from becoming one of our early kings in the tournament. Good old is to Zepp, yeah, G-Bass. Had a good strong run, but unfortunately, it's tournament life ends here. That's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. If you did, go ahead and give me that thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.